Got the bogey gear mounted up there. Just getting ready to move it down to the hanger. Now I built this bogey gear just exclusively for rolling this back and forth between the basement here and the hangar. It is never meant to be a work platform or anything. Those little wheels are just off of a kiddie's push bike, so they're not intended for anything heavy. This thing is actually too much for it as it is. It's done great so far. I think this axle on this one might be bent just a little bit. And I noticed when it set out in the sunshine there when I was letting the paint cure that after it set in the sunshine for a while that these plastic wheels would get hot from the sun and they'd deform a little bit and kind of get flat. But it, they've served their purpose. But I need something, a mount for the airframe for putting the wings and stuff on. I need something solid to put it on. I can't use the rotisserie once I start doing that. I need something that's not going to tip over and these little wheels just are not going to handle that. The framework probably will though. And so what I've done here is I've dug out some of my box tubing. This is some of the stuff I've used for other projects. It's some scrap stuff we salvaged out of a junk pile that had been the bleachers in the gymnasium that they rebuilt. Now this piece happens to be doubled up. It's two pieces together, welded together, and it's thin walled. It's 332nd. And the stuff's been outside and it's rusty inside. It's uh, not a very nice stuff to use, but I'm going to use it for a base because it'll be a nice solid base. It won't be tippy. The airplane will sit on that. So when I'm putting the wings on it, it won't, when I put wing on one side, it won't tip over on that side. And so I'm going to have this stick out a couple feet from the side. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it up right now how to do that. I'll take these wheels off, the tires and wheels off. I dug out those little pieces of scrap angle iron. I was going to drill those out and bolt those up into the bolt holes, the mount holes where those uh, wheels go. But they're not deep enough, so I'm going to have to come up with a different plan I for cut that. I cut this uh, set of box tubing off there at 5 feet. And after getting up here and looking at it, I could see that wasn't going to be enough for any lateral stability on here once you start putting the wings on. Especially the one wing, once you get it on, it's going to be pretty heavy on that one side and want to tip up. So I decided to go ahead and go a little wider. And fortunately that piece that I cut the off of originally was 12 feet long. So I was left with a 7 foot chunk of that doubled box tubing. The idea that I had of using the angle iron to uh, bolt up to that once I got it up here and could see how deep that gear was up there to the hole that I have for the mounting hole I could see that wasn't going to work either oh I got to trying to find something else that would work oh, I happen to have this other angle iron I don't know where it came from but it's 10 inches by 6 inches and it's 3 16 thick anyway I found a piece of that that was short enough for me to handle and I took it down and took the torch and cut off two four inch wide pieces of that and that looks like it's going to work fine. I was thinking about putting the 10 inch piece up on it, putting a couple holes to adjust it, then I decided well I'll use the six inch piece up on it. It'll be a little stronger that way as far as bending and the 10 inch piece will be welded out there and give it a little bit more lateral, lateral strength. So I got those cleaned up and now I've got this uh, tube marked. I'll take it down and clean it up and then I'll take the wire feed welder and weld that on there. I took the tubes down to the shop and took the grinder and the wire wheel and cleaned off the rust and paint and mill scale off that area there where I was going to weld and where those two uh, angles went. I took the angles down and I measured down an inch from the top and uh, halfway two inches in from the sides there which is in the middle of both of those they're both four inches wide anyway I drilled a 5 16 hole in them we can run a bolt through there and into that web on uh, those two gear legs and that should hold that just fine I welded those angles there on where I had marked it where I wanted it to go and it looks like they're just right so I think that's going to work good it's going to stick out there quite a ways out either side probably going to stumble over it a hundred times but not as obtrusive as a set of landing gear would be with the big tires on them or anything or the floats it's going to keep that airplane down at a reasonable height to work on the engine and the wings and everything until we get those done and we can also jack it up and block it up and I'll have to make something for the back end there to jack it up 
because we have to level the fuselage to, to rig everything to get it rigged properly, the horizontal stabilizers and elevators and all of that stuff. The rudder's rigged pretty good the way it is. I, I set the swing on it but we've got to rig the elevators and then we've got to rig the wings, get the right dihedral and everything on those. So we we'll want the fuselage level side to side and front to back. Well, this will be nice and stable to work on. The wheels on there just aren't sturdy enough to work on that thing on. And of course they're in there with a narrow gauge and they would have tipped over with uh, one wing on it till they got the other one on. And probably past the limit of what they'll carry anyway after adding a belly tank and paint and all the rest of that stuff on there. This will hold the fuselage while we hang the engine and, and do all the work on it and keep everything stable. The rotisserie is nice, but it's not very stable. Um, I don't know whether it would, uh, it's kind of got narrow legs on it for putting the wings on. It, it might have tipped with one wing on there until we got the other one on. I, I don't think it would be the best thing for putting the wings on and, and you can't put the engine on with that thing on there. So. This, this is a deal.